Welcome to the MedReady Automated Medication Dispenser Compliance website screencast. Please enter the unit ID, username, or email and sign in. First thing you want to do is click on My Account, change your password that was given to you, enter in the user's phone number and the user first name and last name. You can also change the email and username, which both fields can be used to log in to MedReady.net. Make sure you click Update when you're done, and then head over to My Device. You'll see six tabs. The first one is a summary of the device settings. The signal strength is important. Anything below six, you probably want to move the device to a better location. Keep in mind that every um, event that comes in uh, will send a new signal strength, so you'll be able to check this just by sending another event up. Click over to Device Settings. Here you'll be able to change uh, settings on the device itself. If you click uh, Active, it'll deactivate it, which means it'll turn the clock to off, and it'll maintain all the settings but just won't dispense. The alarm length is the amount of time the alarm will sound before it notifies people of a non-compliance here. I have it set for three minutes. The factory setting is 30. Okay. The chirp is after uh, the alarm length expires. The chirp will sound once per minute until the medication is taken. The audio alerts will en enable the uh, buzzer or disable it. The visual will enable or disable the, the, the visual red light if your device has that. Uh, and then your dose is remaining in the standard load. You can adjust here. Notifications. You can see uh, we have email, phone notifications, and SMS or text. What you can do is put in as many of these as you would like. Keep in mind that the more you put in, we believe it's more confusing because all these people will get notified and then everybody will try to call and see what's going on at the same time. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you can put in as many email and S SMS notifications as you'd like. All of those get sent out as soon as a non-compliance event comes into MedReady. The phone notifications, you can put as many of those in as you'd like to. What that, that is is an automated phone call and it will start at the top of the list uh, sound a message and if you press 1 to acknowledge that call at the end of the message it won't call the second number or third number uh, but as soon as that uh, if it doesn't get a 1 it'll continue down the list until it does get a 1 the next one is the alarms here's where you can set uh, the alarms and make them active or not basically arm or disarm the alarms so what you do is you edit it if you want to make it inactive and shut off that alarm then you just click that you can change the alarm times to whatever you'd like and then save the alarm. I'm not going to save it here because what it does is it goes out and it takes about 45 seconds for the first message to go through and uh, I don't want to take that time during the screencast. Uh, you can test the devices, the alarm test, the early dose and the cancel early dose. If you hover over those you'll get explanations. The schedule is what you see. So on this case today, 1140, it was scheduled. It was taken at 1149, 1150, it was taken at 1150, 12 o'clock, 1201, and so on. The colors mean that since the alarm went off at 1140 and they didn't take it till 1149, it was past that three minutes. So therefore, uh, it was considered late. The green ones are on time. If it's red, it was physically missed you can go back to for about a year's worth of data. And the last tab is the log tab and you can see the actual raw data coming into the servers. Keep in mind when you first turn on the device the s seven events come in and um, the last one is the set time at the top. Once that comes in the device has been synced up. You'll see this every time the device starts. Thank you for using the MedReady. I hope it works out well. Goodbye.